the youth and handing the baton on to the next generation. This is definitely an example of that. We are handing the baton on to the next generation. We just want to make sure they stay in. That's all. We want to make sure that they understand what that mission is. So today, we present you with this plaque from the security team and from the planning committee of Masjid al -Ha. It says the Mosque Cares 2010 Annual Muslim Convention in Ramadan Session. We left him with this ayah. To each is a goal to which God turns him. Then strive together as in a race towards all that is good. Wheresoever ye are, God will bring you together. For God has power over all things. It's in the Holy Quran, Surah 2, Ayat 148. It's presented to W. Dean Muhammad II, President, in appreciation for your dedication and devotion to the principles of Al Islam from the security team of Masjid al Haq and the planning committee of Masjid al Haq. I just want to show my appreciation. I wasn't expecting this, but I want you all to know that I'm also your son, so I'm highly grateful and like any child of a parent or to a father or mother, that what they want to know most is, do, do I have your approval? And the humble lie that you can't take this plaque back from me. I'm going to hang on my wall. I'm going to keep a close guard on it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Next, I, I, most of you know this person. I think we kind of grew up as uh, babies, almost babies, teens in this team. This brother, I remember him from Muhammad University and Clara Muhammad School. He was a teacher in many different subjects. Uh, my sons and my families in the back, they can tell you he definitely was a disciplinarian. He used to drive the school bus, North Irvington, East Orange, wherever he had to go to pick up the students and bring them to Sister Clara Muhammad School. This brother is responsible for uniting imams and masters and centers across this nation to put this convention on. Yes, give him a round of applause. Some of you already know who I'm talking about. He is ranked among imams who have seen and understood the work and the vision as you saw on the video of Imam W.D. Muhammad. He is among those imams from L.A., California, New Medina, Texas, Georgia, North Carolina, and a host of other states who are building institutions, businesses, and masters across this country. Institutions in the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, so that we have something, some ground to stand on. This brother has united us. We know we all had heartfelt feelings when we lost our leader, but we really have it. If you remember the history of Prophet Muhammad, Islam kept spreading throughout the world even after he passed. And that's our legacy. Again, this brother has been very, very instrumental in uniting the East Coast, West Coast, and Central in putting on this convention. Oftentimes, we are not showing or honoring or appreciating the people who push us the most. 
You talk about jet for Muhammad, he got loads of Muslims on a jet going to the Islamic Convention in Chicago. Anywhere this convention was, this brother and his uh, believers and committees always made sure they made it affordable for believers to get to those conventions and those Ramadan sessions. Not only jets, but buses too. I love you, Brother Imam Kareem. Can you please come up? Thank you. 